Hey everybody, Six Iron Stud here today. We're filming from the Baker Build Studio since it's snowing outside in the great state of misery. Last weekend we were able to get a few shots in. This weekend, not so much. So we're going to do a, a review. A little bit of information I'm going to give you on this uh, Great Western 2 by Pieta. Had a lot of questions about which cowboy gun to get. Well, as far as single actions go, if you can't have the genuine article, the next best thing... Great Western 2 by Pieta, sold by the EMF company out of Santa Ana, California, and I have one here in 45 Colt, the 4 and 5 8 barrel. Happens to be my preference, but you know, there's several calibers they come in, several barrel lengths. I happen to like a 4 and 5 8 barrel with a in a 45 Colt. But again, whatever you like. This gun is unloaded. I'll verify it here. Notice bring it back to half clock half cock. Two clicks. Open the loading gate. You guys can see it's unloaded, so we know the gun's safe. This gun does not have a transfer bar. It does not have a retractable firing pin. This is built the way the original Colts were built. And as far as I know, it's the, the most accurate Colt clone there is. And it, it, it lends itself very well to competition use. It can be tuned. It, it makes for a great gun. So whether you're sitting in front of TV, watching your favorite Western, playing with your guns, or you're out competing, cowboy, action shooting, fast draw, or you just like to go to the range and shoot with your friends, this is the gun. In my opinion, this is this is the gun to have. Now this gun is tuned by by a six iron stud. Uh, several of the things we do, full action job, we're gonna lighten the trigger, we're gonna take it down from five to seven pounds, we're gonna knock that down to one and a half to two pounds, depending on, on user preference. I like about a pound and a half trigger. Still has a positive angle on the hammer. Safe gun. We do take the barrel off, index it correctly to set the windage. That's a big deal. Most of the guns come from the factory with uh, a, a large, tall front sight on there. They typically shoot to the left. Front sight can be remedied fairly easily to tune. You know, you, you tune that to your individual loads. But uh, the windage, it's another story. I like a gun that shoots exactly where I'm pointing it at. So... When you're at the range, you want to split playing cards in half, you want to shoot the an aspirin off the head of a nail, you could do it with this gun. A couple of the other things we do, we open up the rear sight channel, which gives you a, a, a faster target acquisition. You can bring it up, find your target quicker. You're shooting cowboy, it makes a difference. You're shooting large targets, but uh, they're close. The wider rear sight channel seems to help with that. I like to open up the forcing cone, cut an 11 degree angle on that, hone it, makes for a, a more accurate gun. The bullet doesn't get deformed as it's coming out of the cylinder. And overall polish, we're gonna polish the base pin and a few of the things inside, we're gonna make sure that the, the bolt locks up tightly so you have a nice solid, nice solid lock up and that makes a difference as far as accuracy goes and reliability for that matter. This is a deluxe Californian, so it has the, the color case hardened framed Everything else is blue on it, and it has checkered uh, walnut grips on it. They do have a few other models. They have a plain model, just a standard Californian. Basically, this model without the checkered grips. They have a deluxe Grande Californian. They have a few different models of that, and then you have a fleur de lis grip on there, and laser engraved barrel and ejector rod cylinder frame itself. It just depends on your individual taste. They come in stainless steel if, if that's what you like. It's very accurate. I've had zero problems with it. Had several thousand rounds put through it. And we'll we'll put another video out that shows the that demonstrates the accuracy of this firearm. I think you'll be impressed with that. And uh, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to put comments below. Ask me anything within reason. Again, I want to put a shout out to Zach Baker for letting us use his studio here today. Get out of the snow and uh, look forward to more videos from Six Iron Stud. Until then, Six Iron Stud, we'll see you next time.